What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka All Fires. Now in a video we did over a week ago last Sunday, we discussed the possibility of John Bernthal's Punisher returning in the MCU and maybe for his own series on Disney+. Plus. There were certain industry insider editorials that were indicating such and while I discussed my trepidation with Disney trying to do a series that was anything like that original Netflix series because that's what's intrinsic, integral to the Punisher himself, the violence that we saw during that series. It has now been confirmed to major updates in the last two days that indeed John Bernthal is coming back. We're going to talk about where this is coming from. Yes, one of them is Rosario Dawson. The other, the most trusted of industry insiders indicating and confirming, yes, he's coming back. We're breaking it all down. John Bernthal's return to the MCU. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button. We do daily Marvel content at the channel, and that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers, and reviews to the occasional industry insider report and everything in between. So if that sort of thing's for you, hit the subscribe button leave a comment down below that will automatically enter you to win our ongoing ps5 giveaway if you want stick around at the end of the video we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there Okay, so this started, some of you may have heard or even seen the clip last night, but maybe not heard the follow-up from Rosario Dawson. She was at Chicago's Comic and Entertainment Expo C2E2 this past weekend, in which she seemed to, while on stage in front of an entire audience, confirm that not only was John Bernthal coming back, but that the Punisher was returning. She then tweeted out today, I can't be trusted, in a follow-up tweet saying that basically... While she was there signing autographs, a lot of fans were asking her about the Punisher news if he was returning, and that sort of confirmed to her he was. So basically, she didn't have it from any good source and realized that taking the words of fans maybe not the greatest idea ever. However, Rosario, we got you because this morning, Coming from industry insider Daniel RPK via his Patreon, a great, great follow, and an industry insider with an almost impeccable track record as of late, has now confirmed all of the rumblings that indeed John Bernthal is returning as the Punisher to the MCU. Now, he stopped short of saying whether it'll be for his own series, but reading the tea leaves and seeing how they're rebooting these Netflix characters, it seems like a lot of them that had ties, and especially to Charlie Cox's Daredevil, will return in some capacity. So I'm anticipating we're going to see him in other people's projects before we see him in his own, which was what I brought up as a major point of contention in my video a week ago and mentioned briefly in the prologue, just that John Bernthal's been on ample record at this point with multiple interviews explaining that what the Punisher meant to so many people meant a lot to him and he'd love to return to the character as long as they kept the integrity of his story together and if you've seen that original show on Netflix it is beyond violent the way we expect a Punisher show to be so the trepidation I mentioned in the prologue the cautiousness I mentioned during that previous video from last week is just that I have a hard time imagining Disney Plus doing any sort of justice to a continuation of his series if it's going to be as intrinsically violent as a Punisher series should be and as it was on Netflix. I use the word intrinsically because that's part and parcel. That's part for the course for Frank Castle, but there is a caveat. There is a way that they can slide him in with all of his gun violence and still have him play within the confines of Disney Plus because even with all their parental controls and extended ratings, I still don't see Frank Castle's face covered in blood, the violence, the way it was viscerally on Netflix anywhere near Disney Plus. How they plan to do this is the supernatural element that Kevin Feige used by name here real recently when referring to Blade. There is a Midnight Suns buildup going on in the MCU right now, and as we lead into that, you can still have all the gun violence in the world for Punisher, but instead of shooting up humans, this time he's shooting up werewolves, vampires, monsters, the supernatural element. And in that, you can keep him in the atmosphere of PG-13 in the major crossovers. Guys, I know it's being heavily reported in places, but Daniel Rickman's confirmation now of him returning as Punisher, to me, is as good as gold. What's not as good as gold is them continuing to do a Punisher series on Disney+, Plus because, again, unless they plan on really, really extending the TVMA and fully embracing that original show from Netflix... I think it would be better done just having Frank Castle and team-ups. If you're not going to do any justice to that original show, don't do it at all. Just my opinion, but I am all ears in the comments as always. And Rosario, uh, not that you watch my videos, but in case you do, please do not be upset. We are not going to vilify you, pun totally intended, with the cesspool of bad information, especially on social media amongst fans right now. Uh, it's not surprising at all. So all good. 
don't worry, one of the industry insiders got you this morning. You didn't have to roll back those comments. He literally confirmed what you were saying. Quickly, guys, let's get into all the giveaway stuff before I let you go. All right, we're still giving away PlayStation 5s every 20,000 subscribers all the way up to a million. The next milestone's 980, which we could easily hit by this month or next. So if you want to be entered to win, and all the same rules will always apply, all you have to do, hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber, then leave a comment down below because it's truly random. The more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos, the same way we're doing here. The the best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you like today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. My name's Michael Roman. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at I Am Fires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes under the name All Fires. And if you've supported me over the last four years, I want to continue to do so here real recently for free. I'm going to leave a link down in the description in the comments. I am into the deep rounds of a competition for me to launch all fires at a huge show at the Hollywood Bowl. It's free to vote with a Facebook account. Yeah, I know, boomer alert, who has a Facebook account these days? But all you have to do, click that link, vote for me, all fires, and you can do so for free every 24 hours. I would sincerely appreciate it. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.